afternoon. How are we? Happy Sunday. Hope you're all all right. I can't find my hair dryer. All right, so I have just washed my hair. <gasps> She's washed her hair again, twice in one week of this year. I've towel dried it, but I can't find my dryer. So this is how it looks. This is my Sunday. Can I be bothered to do my makeup? No, I fucking can't. All right. I'm, <sighs> you're lucky really, I'm doing this, okay? I've been pouring it off for weeks. I need a coffee. All right, I've just brushed my teeth, so I can't deal with the combo. I've got Clubland Classics on. I feel like a teenager whose mum's just told her to do a room. I do just want to get it out of the way, because Steve's on my bastard case every day. Are you going to do your wardrobe? Faye, when are you doing your wardrobe? Babe, when are you doing your wardrobe? I'm just like, leave me alone, all right? When it's closed, who cares? I'll take the kids to the park. I've given them a couple of quid to, you know, take down the shop. So the kids are on my case. So I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna go park and shop later on, down the beach, have a wander. It's way day tomorrow. Ugh. Yeah. On the off chance you are wondering why I'm wearing shades. I feel, <laughs> I feel rough. Sunday fun day. Oh, don't want that. <laughs> Those that watch me on the telly, you just got to be like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. You shouldn't watch me on the telly. You shouldn't. This part of my wardrobe, I have kept, you know, quite nice. I have an eye punch, but all of this, even like charity shop stuff i've just like banged in you know so i'll just get it all out okay now i know punch oh. i am gonna start what's that oh that's from a watch i am gonna start um doing mystery boxes on vinted Clove it, you know, clothing mystery bundles on eBay and Vinted. So that is the plan. Oh look, do you know what? My wardrobe's had it, look, it's not even attached. Fucking hell, my wardrobe's like, no. Here's my jewellery box. This is like an old, I got this at an antiques market. I really liked it and Steve went back and got it there. This is my nan's, obviously, you know, she's not here. But, um, oh my fucking God, it says Cartier on it. Is that good? Shake you out, Nan. But there's a few, like, bits in here. Oh, shit. That is quite special. That belonged to my Nan. So, let's have a look. Little mirror. And then, um, yeah, just bits and bobs that belong to my Nan. So... Yeah, this is kind of like my vintage jewellery box. But, um, yeah, I'll show you some pics of me now. Hang on. She was so lovely, you know. Like, she was the type of woman, right, that... Oh, she... Do you know what? If you, like, had a problem, she would just be like, I don't care. Like, tell me. Like, she not that she didn't care, but, like, she'd say, you know, I don't care what it is, tell me, and I'll never judge. Like, she did not judge anything absolutely anything she just like she's so special honestly so special this is what she had on a mobility scooter she used to have so this is me and my nan when look this is my nan and me when i was little here we are again And again. She always had a ciggy in her mouth, right? Absolute chain smoker. All the time. And um, coffee, coffee obsessed. Honestly, like me. Like, she'd be like, oh, put the kettle on. Do you want a coffee? Put the kettle on. You know. I wish she could have met Steve. Look at the boys. 
do you know what? <laughs> it was an organising video, but I feel like I just want to show you all my photos. Look amazing. When are you a little? Tyler. Look, do you know what? You remember I was saying about you had a lot so bare, that was the one. The lots of loving bear. And when I went to the car boot recently, I got him one and it's, he just loves it, it's on his bed. And it just makes me, you know, think about that time. But, yeah, just, oh, I love, look. It was Toy Story mad. Get a bit emotional. I did a fake photo shoot at home. And we got that of Tyler. this one sorry for those for those that are here for an uh, organising video I'm currently sat in my washing showing you photos <laughs> this is when I was pregnant with Mason honestly I am so broody it's unreal I just uh, look at him here He's so cute, honestly. That's so cute. Me and Steve, when we, this was like years ago now, so when we, you know, first got together, when I had blonde hair, <laughs> I had blonde hair, didn't I? Anyway, back to organising. I do apologise. Um, oh, just yeah, I would love would nothing more. <laughs> would love nothing more. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Then to have another baby. You know, to share that with Steve, honestly, he would be an amazing, amazing dad. You know, we sit and talk about it, and like he. He tells me like how much he wants it to happen and then you know when we're out and about and we see like little little toddlers and stuff and he's like oh, you know so yeah I, I just with that all that stuff I, yeah I just don't know where to go with it now so but anyway I better get tidy in my clothes up and oh I need a coffee now I do need a coffee I love looking at photos you know I've got thousands on my phone but um yeah, I'll get on with it now, but as you can see, I've literally, my wardrobe is on its last legs because of all of this. I've got so many clothes. Oh, I bought this recently. Hey, look, this was from uh, Vinted, right? Get that off it. From Topshop, originally, this were a pound, and it's in a size 16, but I love the colour. So, I'm going to wear something. <laughs> I don't know what. But... Yeah, for a date night. I don't know. But I really like that. It's very bright for summer. So, yeah. Anyway, right. I'm getting on with it now. I need to put some music on. I'll Fly With You is my song of choice. Gigi D'Agostino is who it's by. And I, oh, I just love it. But anyway. So, oh, I wore this the other day. <laughs> Didn't put it back in the wardrobe. <laughs> that is very typical. So... Oh, honestly, I've just got no end of shit. I don't know where to start. Oh, I was looking for this the other day. So this is that um, maxi uh, skirt that I bought. How nice is that? <gasps> nice little top. I might wear it tomorrow after I've been running. But yeah, it don't end, look. You see why I'm gonna make a, uh, oh, mystery bundles of stuff that I don't wear anymore. So, oh, I forgot about this one. And oh, it's another skirt. Yeah. Okay, Gosh, there's so many things in there I've not seen for ages. Oh, look at this. Should we have a coffee? <laughs> I can't be asked anymore. I could, like, make sure the door's shut on the wardrobe and just tell Steve I've done it.
Oh, hey, right, I've got some jeans. These look very similar, I thought these were the ones. They're a size 20 and they don't fit me anymore. A lot of people say don't go by the scales, go by like how you feel in your clothing. And yeah, I had a size 20 pair of jeans and they are, you know, quite big on me now. So yeah, I've still come on vintage. But like, you know, it's a nice feeling to know that you know, it's kind of working, whatever I'm doing. It's very slow. We're looking for these. These are new look jeans. I was actually looking for them. They're like a skinny fit. Right, I'll keep them out. I'm going to put like, oh, I'm not seeing this for ages and all. It's like a little off the shoulder ASOS number. I'm going to put all my summer tops like at the front. You know, and just like casual t-shirts because I um, end up wearing like whatever's at the front of my wardrobe. It's usually like a big massive hoodie. I love wearing black as well, but I'm going to try and um, start adding a bit more colour into my wardrobe. What are these? Oh, these are like little cropped um, bottoms from Select, size 18. So... They're quite floaty, see what I mean? So all my winter stuff, I'm gonna fold and stick it. Oh, that's not folded, is it? Come on, Faye. It's not pissing about. Turn my ring around, it always gets caught. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fold all my winter bits and stick them on the bottom because I'm not um, wearing any hoodies or anything for the foreseeable future. Oh, these are a size 16. That's pushing me luck a bit actually. <laughs> like cargo -y bottoms. But I'll keep them out because I couldn't get in the couldn't get in them a while back. So you know I might be able to now. I've got a play suit. So oh I might stick that in the mystery box as well. Not sure that fits. Try and like um challenge yourself. I don't feel comfortable, you know, wearing like um you know a lot of summer gear and stuff. Like challenge yourself. Start off small, that's what I'm trying to say. And um build yourself up. So this week, like challenge yourself to, I don't know, wear like a little top that you wouldn't usually or a colour that you wouldn't usually wear. You know, it's hot, honestly. Don't sit there fucking sweating or you know worrying about what people think you know with whatever you're wearing seriously just challenge yourself to a little something and um oh this hey don't just blame me this is steve's bloody jumper this all right <laughs> and this one no wonder i've got no bloody room but um oh i love this i love this, this is by quiz in the charity shop little dress hopefully i'll be in that soon Cycling shorts, they can stay out. Oh! There's my makeup sponge. I wonder where that one went. So I'm putting all my, yeah, winter gear away. And just things that I'm not that interested in at the minute so but come winter you know whip it out <laughs> but yeah so far I've got a pile for just like hoodies and stuff you know stop wearing so many hoodies I love loungewear so any loungewear sets I'll keep out what I'm doing right is taking out cardigans blazers um that kind of thing at the minute unless I know that I'm going to want it but I'm keeping in dresses all that kind of thing summery stuff literally just taken out like and then we're gonna take that shirt out for now it'll all go in the winter pile see that can cost what summer on look at that bloody hell but yeah i'm just gonna stick everything so like these i love these blazers and i will wear them one day but i'm just gonna take it out because I'm not planning on wearing it at the minute. It's too hot, you know, and I just want more colour. I wear a lot of like, you know, nudes and beiges and browns and stuff, you know, so I just want to really like switch it up, you know. 
so yeah lots of bright pinks and neons and corals and stuff like I love that like look do you know what I mean just a bit more a bit more pink and stuff so yeah I'm getting rid of all my shirts you know blazers anything like that in my winter pile and yeah I'm gonna smash out smash out some colour so I'm not even joking this is my favourite dress that I own I got this from, where did I get it from? Charity shop. I think it was like a pound. And it is by F and F. Honestly, I swear to you, I think I could see myself getting married in this. On a beach. It's so floaty and gorgeous. Honestly, it's my favourite dress that I've got. Alright, it is a size, it's a size 18. Is it? Or a size 10? I don't know. Let me have a look. Size 18. Oh, just, I love it. Honestly, I it's my favourite dress. It really is. One of my favourite t-shirts as well. My heartless t-shirt. Probably showing you all this before, I know. <laughs> and then I got this. This is by MNG, and a lot of people said that was Mango. So, um, this is a different dress that I've got from a previous charity shop visit. But it's really nice and just... Oh, I just I love it so yeah this is what I mean like I'm gonna start actually wearing some of the shit that I've got um summer clothes instead of like you know my beiges and my nudes and stuff I'm putting jeans and like tiny little tops that you know are falling off hangers but jeans that do fit because there's some that don't fit me now um and like I'm just adding more more of like I love this top just more bits and bobs, so <laughs> yeah. This I'm obsessed with, right? You will see me this month wearing it. Honestly, I'm gonna wear it. I, I don't know where, I might plan a meal out or something, but you'll see me wearing it, honestly, I love it. But can you see, like, no cardigans. Um, I love black tops, don't get me wrong, honestly. Like, I wear a lot of black and I actually really like black. It's just, um, like, I really wanna add a pop of color, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with black at all but I've got so many pretty tops so this week is the week I'm gonna wear them and shorts I wear a lot of leggings so I'm gonna like I've got a jean pile shorts and skirts so yeah I'm just gonna you know like I love little tops like this you know right up my street I've sorted everything out now. So, like I said, I've got rid of all the cardigans into my winter um, bag. And then just loads of like summer tops, which I'm gonna, you know, try and wear one every day. Nice bit of color, so. Yeah, I've got all these tops that, you know, because they're so lost in the washing. <laughs> because I needed to put my winter stuff away now anyway. You know, so they're just so lost in all of that. But on top, I have, um, yeah, just folded jeans, shorts, skirts, tops. And then like I said, in the bottom here is my winter one. And then I've got a load of clothes for mystery boxes and stuff, stuff that I've outgrown, um, no longer interested in type of thing. So yeah, that's it though. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, my friends, don't any dickheads get you down. All right, you're absolutely fucking amazing. Okay, never forget it. My camera is about to die. Um, honestly, try it, like wear a pop of colour. You know, I love this colour. Oh, I love it. But, um, you know, just try and step out of your comfort zone a little bit. I just felt like I was, like, slipping into constantly wearing beiges and browns and stuff. And, you know, my makeup's like that. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm trying to have a bit of a reinvention of, like, clothing and makeup and hair and stuff. So, yeah, just, you know, part of a little journey I'm on. But, um, yeah. Little challenge, honestly, just, you know, try it. Just a little something that you wouldn't usually wear. But yeah, that's it, that's the end of the video. I love you, I'll see you in tomorrow's video.